<laughs> is Mel Gibson more deranged than we thought? This is something I've been wondering about for a long time, Lewis. Uh, we've seen the police. <laughs> wow, look at that picture. <laughs> we've seen the police reports. We've seen the lawsuits. We've heard the audio of him threatening to put the mother of one of his children in a rose garden. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be that uh, uh, crazy to think Mel Gibson may be a deranged guy, but we now have some new evidence. Joel Esterhaas wrote this book, a 30,000 word chronicle, Heaven and Mel. And it's basically about how the Basic Instinct screenwriter's uh, ill-fated attempt to write a Jewish Braveheart for Gibson to direct didn't happen. And Heaven and Mel has a number of troubling charges. Now, a lot of these we already know about, right? The, uh, we have this nine-page letter that Esther Haas wrote to Gibson after the project collapsed. And um, on numerous occasions, Heaven and Mel repeats the letter's wording uh, uh, almost verbatim from this nine-page letter. And it talks about this incident where apparently Gibson allegedly, he was alone with Esther Haas's 15-year-old son. And Gibson said he'd like to have anal sex with his ex-girlfriend and stab her to death while doing it. Now, for, I've looked over this a bunch of times. Was Gibson talking about Gibson's ex-girlfriend or the 15-year-old kid's ex-girlfriend? I, I can't actually discern which of the two it is, I, but they're both completely deranged, aren't they? I think when you're when you're going into anything homicidal, yeah. I mean, it's all pretty much the same category. <laughs> Some of the minor details are the weirdest. Like, for example, apparently Mel Gibson sends out emails. This is so weird. Under the alias, <laughs> Bjorn Pork. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just, it's weird. What, what, isn't that strange? There's, there's a lot of strange stuff going on here. I, I feel like, I, I feel like we're only looking at... This uh, is only the, the surface. <laughs> We're only scratching the surface with Mel Gibson. Also, um, apparently, Esther Haas was convinced that Gibson's desire to make a movie about the Maccabees was basically just to atone for all of the anti-Semitic stuff, but it's, it wasn't sincere. In other words, he sincerely wanted to just do something to try to, to be in, in Jews' good graces, which, of course, he has to, because if it weren't for Jews, he would have no career in Hollywood, his thinly veiled uh, anti-Semitism there. Gibson strikes me as a flat-out bizarre guy. Yeah, I think he, he's made plenty of movies since that incident. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if his claims are true. Odd guy.